Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. I'm doing it inside today. Uh, I'm pretty sore all over because I, I mowed the whole backyard back here, except for the part way over there on the other side where those big trees are. Didn't get any done in the front after I, after I mowed, uh, raked all that. I just couldn't do no more. I was, <laughs> it's too much for me, so I quit for now. I don't know if I can do any today. If I get feeling better, I will. <laughs> it's rough. Let's see. On a prayer request, Karina, pray for her hometown, Fresno, California. There are fires all over, and the air is horrible. Austin Bowman, pay, pray for his four-year-old son. He got hit in the temple with a golf ball and had to have brain surgery. Paisy Rose's family need prayer for her family and Louisiana. Her son lost his home and he and his family are staying with them. Tiho Creates needs prayer for her friend Christina. She has ongoing medical issues. Christine's mom is in the hospital. Jen has an unspoken request. Flower Child needs us to pray for Washington State. The smoke is getting worse there. And Logan, we just had his uh, doctor call. That's one one reason I'm a little bit later. Is uh, I was talking to Joy and stuff. Um, he does he doesn't have diabetes, so uh, that's prayer answered right there. Thank you for praying for Logan. He does not have diabetes, so he said they need to keep an eye on him, but he doesn't have it as of right now. So. That's, that's a good way to start your day, to get some, some good news for once. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. Yeah, I'm moving kind of slow. I knew I'd be sore though. All right. Um, the devotion today is entitled Making His Music. Choir director Ariane Abella spent her childhood sitting on her hands to hide them. Born with fingers missing or fused together on both hands, she also had no left leg and was missing toes on her right foot. A music lover and lyric soprano she planned to major in government at Smith College but one day her choir teacher asked her to conduct the choir which made her hands quite visible from that moment she found her career going on to conduct church choirs and serving now as director of choirs at another university my teacher saw something in me Abella explains her inspiring story invites believers to ask what does God our holy teacher see in us regardless of our limits. More than anything, he sees himself. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. As his glorious image bears, <clears throat> when others see us, we should reflect him. For Abella, that means Jesus, not her hands or her lack of fingers, matters most. The same is true for all believers, and we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image, says 2 Corinthians 3.18. Similar to Abella, we can conduct our lives by Christ's transforming power, offering a life song that rings out to, to the glory, to the honor of God. How does knowing you are God's image bearer help you to see yourself differently how does it help you in your interactions with others thank you God for making me in your image help me to apply this fact to all of my life 
Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help all the people that are suffering all over the country, Lord, and that are affected by the virus, too. And Lord, say my pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoy this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, it's, it's fairly nice out and everything, so I'll be doing my walk. Uh, maybe that'll loosen me up a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I think I just, <clears throat> everything just tightens up overnight or something. So, um, I guess I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'll take a walk with me. Bye, everybody. God bless.